Can you say balls on television? Balls? Slight drizzle out, just kind of a mist. And the doctor called, the skies opened up, and just this huge swell of rain just poured down. I remember it was Good Friday, and I went into the doctor at approximately 3 o'clock. It was Halloween. I had to get home to hand out candy. Yeah, it was the day before my birthday. September 26th. June 22nd. 11, 20. Valentine's Day. December 24th, 2003. The world became silent. Everything like went to, to black hole. How can you forget the day your whole life changed? I was about to go on to tour the following week. He limped back to the dugout and he's like, I can't, I can't run. We had gone to the mall to look for a kitten. She told me I have something to tell you. I got a phone call five minutes before I had to go on the air live. Hey kids, here's Britney Spears at number three. Woo! Cut. I just remember holding the phone out screaming, Mom! My world it came to an end. It's hard to accept that what happens to you. Slow motion kind of shock that you feel when the doctor sort of looks you in the eyes and kind of... I thought he was possibly questioning my, my manhood. <laughs> and I dropped the phone, you know, what do you say? I think we did what any normal American family would do. We went to McDonald's. <laughs> I did not believe. I thought, there's no way. I was like, surgery next week, and I was sort of laughing. Like, I, what are you guys so flipped out about? I'm fine. I just, I think maybe I got hugged too much. What did I do when I was young? Did I drink too much? Did I not drink enough? Maybe I didn't feed her something. Maybe I should have done this, or maybe I should have done this. Why that person? Why not that person? Why our 11-year-old daughter? You know, karma? We think that God's trying to test us or something. If I were a singer, maybe it would have hit me in the vocal cords. And I'm a singer, so to get it up there and have them cut away most of my upper jaw, I think it's a monster. The boogeyman it was like, tag, you're it. There's a Russian roulette aspect to it, or, or spin the bottle. What did I do? I lived in New Jersey. A lot of people say, <laughs> the wasteland, I don't know. New Jersey seems like a good explanation. <laughs> you think that you do everything right, tip 20%, and you are a Democrat, and... <laughs> it's your fault. Right. It's just bullshit. We need to get off of that. Wake up. And if you don't fight for yourself, you're a fool. My mom took out all the money that she had in her purse and she said, I'll pay you cash. Just see me, tell me what I have. They wouldn't even go into details. It's either benign, malignant, or something else. What is something else? I have no idea. It was six months of waiting time to get on Medi-Cal, and I had six months to live. 12 hours of surgery. About 10 spinal taps, I had brain radiation. It hurt to think about where it hurt on me. I made an appointment with a therapist because I didn't feel I was suffering enough. I sought another opinion. If we had done nothing, he would be dead now. I said to my oncologist, am I going to have to start smoking marijuana because I never liked it in college. There's me as the patient, me as the patient who's a doctor looking at himself as a patient as a doctor, and me talking to the rest of my patients about what we're doing with them. I've got to win this just for everybody else so they can stop worrying about me. I want to see that pink sky. I want to hopefully see my grandkids. I mean, I'm like 42. What is this? They fitted me with a face mask nailed to the table so you don't move even an inch. I just, again, assumed two lesions, so there's going to be two zaps. And that wasn't the case. My whole brain felt like it was on fire. It smelled like me barbecuing in the backyard. On her good boob, she wrote, not this one. And on her bad one, this one. I did have some lymph nodes removed, uh, as well as the, as the testicle. They removed about 13 pounds out of my leg. I was eight months in the hospital. I was in bed for 10 years. So I'm really in my 30s. For a brief time, I was even being stalked by an optimist. I'm having my breasts cut off, and a pair of really ugly pink pajamas is going to make a difference. Somebody comes in and asks you if you're interested in buying a wig. I said no. I was bald when I started chemotherapy. And she had lost all her hair. When you love someone so much and you want to make everything right, 
and you can't. We went to get rotisserie chicken to go, and it was during the NBA playoffs. The owner said, uh, go Lakers. And I turned around and I said, better yet, go Will. We had Go Will buttons, and we had Go Will website, Go Will picnics every October. His last words were, I love you. And I told him, I love you too. You're my best friend. <laughs> it seems so random. Like that, and they're gone. She was only 49 years old. I'm 49 years old. Guess what? We're having an epidemic. My father and my cousin and my daughter. My father. My dad, my son, my wife, all of us, my dad, my stepmother, and myself, my mom, <laughs> my mom, my son, and myself, my mother, my father, and myself, my mom, my mom, my friend Manny, my brother, my mom, <laughs> my daughter. We're all looking towards a cure. But in this case, it didn't happen. Think of the billions and billions of dollars we spend every year as a country dreaming up more inventive ways to kill one another. I'd say our priorities are pretty screwed up. We can beat this. It'll be like a key, you know, unlocking a door. I'm a lucky girl, and I'm a survivor. Anything else? Some people call it dreams. I don't have dreams, I have goals in my life. I'd look back on it and I'm just like, what was that about? <sighs> so. Don't take things for granted. Those special moments, those, you know, Kodak moments. You have to have hope and take one day at a time. Life is a terminal condition, right? So I'm gonna die, you're gonna die, but how many of us are gonna live? It's given me a buttload of courage. To me, age is a privilege now. I made 50. That's when I got sad. Because I had spent all my savings and I lived. When she's 21, they told her she had three months to live, and she's been living like 35 years since then. So I'm still here. I'm standing here now. <laughs> I'm a survivor. You can survive. Absolutely. <laughs> my life changed that day. For better. <laughs>